All right, YouTube, so it is Sunday, 12.56 a.m. I just returned from work not too long ago. Have to go to bed pretty soon because I have to be up at 8 in the morning for my double shift. And Monday will be my 98th stream where I'm going to fucking rip into to more fucking Wikipedia smears, which I will be covering uh, tomorrow, which will be Monday. So definitely look out for that. But... I just could not go to bed tonight without without talking about this because it's so fucking ridiculous. And just for the heads up, whether or not I'll be fucking exploding with rage or talking about it in a calm way, regardless, like I said, I'm trying to hold back a little bit. I'm trying to rein it in a little bit. But I will definitely be fucking using the most critical language possible about some of these motherfuckers. And this is going to be exposed at every single turn. But because Steven is over at a good friend's house sleeping over tonight because him and his friend, who's also my friend, you've seen on the channel, w uh, works um, at Shaw's. So they're going to go into work. So I've got the house to myself going to bed tonight. And yeah, I'm going to just go the fuck off about this one because this is absolutely ridiculous. So, so yeah, generally speaking, yeah. But anyway, um, so this... This, if you want to talk about blaming Russia for every fucking thing going on in the world, um, I don't know even how to explain this. You can be as anti-Russian as you want to be, but let's be honest. How, how much you want to bet that, that they're just, that it's just become a hobby. It, it has become a hobby to blame Russia for everything wrong in the world. And I think it's pretty obvious. It's been obvious since the coup in Ukraine in 2014 where Russia enacts Crimea. But now they're blaming uh, Russia on violence going on in the Western African nation of Mali, a country that was under French colonialism for hundreds of years. So guess who they're blaming now for the violence there? You guessed it right. They're blaming Russia for it. They're blaming Russia for it. They're saying violence soars in Mali in the year after Russians arrive. So pretty much you know what this article is going to say, right? You, you pretty much know. Oh, ever since Russian troops are there, now they're uh, uh, inflicting violence on civilians and all this other type of stuff. But no, totally those French colonialists that were there and American troops that were there and the coups and everything that's been going on in Mali and all, all these other places throughout Africa and throughout the Middle East and so forth. Oh, no, totally not, right? No, totally. Oh, no, totally. It, it, it's the Russians that are responsible for the violence going on in Mali. You're totally not the American and French colonialists, but, but, but let's, let's, you know, let's just say it, it's Russia. It's Russia. The world's biggest uh, scapegoat. The biggest scapegoat on the fucking planet. Who the fuck could, could read this and take it seriously? Uh, you know where I found this? I found this on Facebook earlier. I was at work. Probably, I think I don't even know what the fuck I was even doing at that point. I was probably eating dinner or something. I, I mean, I don't even remember because work has been such a brain fuck lately. And, you know, when, when I get the chance to read over some information when I can, then it's like, oh, what the fuck am I even doing? But it's just ridiculous. Who believes this type of shit? Who would even believe it? I mean, even if someone is against Russia, how can you believe that, oh, Russia is even involved? How is Russia even involved in, in Africa anyway? Which, by the way, do you know that they're accepting China and Russia in Africa more than not because the U.S. has been threatening African nations over their trade with Russia over the whole fucking NATO proxy war with Ukraine? That's what's been going on. So, so this, uh, so there's just this new age of blaming Russia for every fucking thing in the world. It's so fucking mind-numbingly stupid. This is this is like stupid on top of stupid on top of stupid on top of stupid. This is like stupid into fucking infinity and beyond into the stars in space and all the planets of the entire galaxy and universe. It's that fucking ridiculous. Saying, I watched my 16-year-old son die, uh, saying uh, the 47-year-old former cattle breeder that they were talking about in the story made no attempt to hide the anger towards the troops, which he believed to be Russian mercenaries who turned his world upside down. 
oh my god, how much do you think the CIA and Mossad are paying this guy? Like, oh my fucking god, that's so... Oh my god, I mean, what is there even to say about something so fucking goddamn ridiculous? Like, who? Who could believe this type of thing? How is Russia in there doing fucking anything? Okay, that there's nothing that Russia is doing there. Oh, I don't know. B besides uh, standing up against American imperialism, kind of like Russia did in Syria when the U.S. Uh, tried to bomb Syria in 2013 over the fake chemical hoax, and then trying to do that over Russia time and again. Trump did it in 2017, 2018. Biden is still in fucking Syria, and Russia's trying to stand as a counterweight so to prevent Syria from becoming another Iraq and another Libya. I've covered that before. But that's perhaps what Russia's doing in Mali, if Russia's even involved in Mali. I don't even know if Russia's even involved in Mali. You see what I mean? I'm not even saying that Russia's even in Mali. But why are they saying, but see, they're the fucking ones that are saying that Russia's in Mali in the first place. I'm not even saying Russia's in Mali in the first place. Maybe they have a few troops here and there, kind of like they do spread out in different African nations. I don't fucking know. But how the fuck do they know? How the fuck does the voice of America know? How the fuck does the mainstream media know? Just like, how do they know there were chemical weapons in Syria? How do they know that there's starving children in Venezuela? Which all of the suffering in the world is because of U.S. sanctions. That's why 90% of Syrians are poor to this day. That's why there's starvation in Venezuela. Not so much now because Venezuela is bucking the trend on global inflation. Why is it that... Oh my God, well, why were, why did over half a million Iraqis starve to death from 1991 onward? Oh gee, I don't know. Let's think about this for a second. Maybe because of US sanctions and regime change operations. Let's think about it for a second. So, so the next time you fucking morons want to sit there and blame Russia for the shit that's going on in Africa, okay? Just, you, 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 just remember something, okay? Just remember something, okay? Just, just remember something, okay? You don't fucking live in reality, okay? You don't fucking live in reality. You don't fucking live in reality. You wouldn't know reality if it fucking bit you in the ass. Like, Jesus fucking Christ. You don't know what reality is, okay? Nobody wants to live in your fucking demented world, okay? Nobody wants to live in your demented world, okay? I'm not the one who's demented, okay? Even though I'm the one who's over here going off like a lunatic about this type of stuff, the reason is is because this is the only appropriate response to bullshit like this, okay? And, and like I said, I know I was going to be more calm in my streams and whatnot and everything, and which I will be, but I will occasionally have my fucking explosive moments, okay? I still will. Okay, I I'm not going to sit here and hold back any further, okay? I'm not going to sit here and hold back any further, okay? This is going to be one of my fucking fiery rants, okay? Where where I go where I go off like the incredible Hulk. Because it's just I it's just because of the mind-numbingly st stu stupidity. The mind-numbingly stupid fucking nonsense that's coming from our mainstream media. Coming from our mainstream media and coming from western media outlets. Just like the same ones that want to sit there and talk more bullshit about Mint Press News and talk more shit about the gray zone amongst others, Consorium News, uh, Consorium News, yeah, Consorium News, meant to say, Consorium News and uh, the Geopolitical Economic Report with Ben Norton. By the way, that's Ben Norton's uh, new show. That's his new show. He renamed it uh, Geopolitical Eco uh, Economy Report, rather. So Geopolitical Econ um, Economy Report with Ben Norton. Highly recommend. Subscribe to him. Highly recommend his channel. Great channel. Gray Zone and Mint Press, great channels. And yeah, they're getting more fucking Wikipedia smears. They're getting more smears from other fucking bullshit. Okay, so so that's what I'm going to be talking about on my channel tomorrow night. Definitely look out for it because I will be destroying it one way or another. I might, I might not get this fired up or probably not, but I, I will be as transparent as possible and I'll be exposing the shit at every turn. I will continue to do that. Now, like I said, I've tried. I, I, I do my best to not go off like this as much as I used to, but... That isn't going to stop me from having these types of rants every now and again. And every single time I fucking pick this shit apart, I'm, I'm going to be as transparent as possible and expose this fucking bullshit and these morons at every turn. 
Okay, do, do you fucking morons think that you are winning anybody over by saying this? Well, unfortunately they are. There's a lot of people out there. There's a lot of fucking stupid people out there. You know where? In the United States of America, in, in the fucking EU, and in, in other parts of the Western world, okay? The Western world is fucking dying, okay? Let's be honest. Okay, this is why China and Russia are gaining so much leverage over us and the Western world is decaying. So, so instead of rebuilding the Western world, we want sanctions and regime change operations launched against Russia, launched against Syria, launched against Iran, launched against North Korea, launched against Venezuela, launched against all these other countries that, that are going to cause all of these other anti-imperialist countries to stand together and pour out in droves just to fight against American imperialism. So, so instead of all of this, they would rather sit there and lay the blame all on Russia because it's easy without doing any fact finding, not even one shred, not even one iota of research. I guarantee fucking to you that the dumbass who wrote this fucking article here, who, oh gee, I wonder why you can't even find his name. Oh my God, why can't you find his name? Gee, oh golly gee, I wonder why. It only says uh, Associated Press by Voice of America. That's, that's all it's saying right here. Why? Because the person who wrote this is in such fucking shame that they don't even want to expose their name. Gee, I wonder why. Maybe because Maybe because they think, number one, they, they feel ashamed deep down, so they want to hide their name. That's probably what it is. I guarantee you, I don't even fucking know, but it's so, oh my god, I can't even get over this type of nonsense. I can't, I cannot get over the sheer stupidity that we are seeing all throughout the world today. It's ridiculous. It ain't just limited to the U.S. anymore, guys. I mean, I know the ignorant American stereotype is still alive and well. Oh, it definitely is. Let me tell you. But trust me, it ain't just limited. It isn't, rather. Ain't, isn't, whatever. It isn't just limited to the U.S. It's limited to, it's not just limited to us. It, it, it's, it's, it's happening all throughout the world, with the exception of countries in the global south. Where people in the global south, especially in South America and Africa and the Caribbean and Indonesia and the, 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 the Asia Pacific and so forth, they can see this shit from a mile away and they can fucking pick it apart. Okay, it takes someone like me, okay, why is it that me, why is it that me, a part-time door dasher and full-time direct care family attendant who works with families for a living, but studies this type of stuff for my own hobby and my own research purposes, but how is it that I can sit there and pick this shit apart? Jimmy Dore, who is a comedian who isn't even specialized in politics, and isn't even like a historian. He can pick this shit apart as well. So, you know, th this is exactly why they say that, oh my God, Mint Press News is a part of the Russian web of disinformation and all this other fucking goddamn nonsense. You hear this type of shit day in and day out. I see it every single time. I see this type of nonsense every single time, okay? So if you want to call me uh, the Russian web of disinformation because I deny the fact that Russia is even involved in Mali or wherever in the first place, well then guess what? The Russian web of disinformation is somewhere I want to be. And if it's a Putin talking point, I don't give two shits, okay? I've never cared. I don't give two shits we, even if it is a Putin talking point. I don't give a fuck one way or the other. Just the fact that it even is called a Putin talking point? Why do you think it's called a Putin talking point? No, well, let's see. Because number one, they want to blame Putin for everything. Number two, if Russian media is actually saying this stuff, then Russian media is speaking the fucking truth. Russian media is more is more truthful than American and Western media and Zionist media. I'll tell you that right now. There's a reason why. There's a reason why. Because Russian media is not dominated by a bunch of fucking Zionist bankers and shit like that. And George Soros funded fuck faces. Because that's what's going on. We're infiltrated by the George Soros types of the world and the fucking Rothschilds and big bankers. All dominated by the Zionists. This is going on. No, if you say this, you're anti-Semitic for saying this. Just like when Men Press News says this type of stuff. They're considered an anti-Semitic conspiracy theory website. And, and, and all this other type of stuff. Oh my fucking God, it's so ridiculous. It's so devoid of reality. And if you believe in this type of shit, 
If your one-dimensional mind believes in this type of shit, then you need a brain transplant. Okay, you need a fucking brain, a brain transplant. I feel like I need a brain transplant just listening to you motherfuckers. Like, oh my fucking God, this is so ridiculous. It's just so devoid of reality. Not even, not even one shred of research, not even one shred of fact finding or fact checking or anything like that. And, and going into the details and doing your fact findings and stuff like that before you make up your bullshit claim. Oh, but I guess, oh, oh but I guess when, um, oh, but I guess when, uh, Mint Press News was writing stories about how, uh, Coca-Cola and Nestle were privatizing and the, uh, Guarani, um, Aquafir, which is a major South American water resource, but they water resource and re reserve. But then, oh, all these, all these establishment media sources were saying that, oh, what Mint Press News was saying was false. Oh, it was, there was no evidence to support their claim, even though these big corporations, Coca-Cola and Nestle, were involved in being in privatizing their own companies and then selling it off in South America and whatnot. Okay, I mean, this was all during the coup in Brazil that paved the way for Jim Bolsonaro to get, in the, to get in there in the first place. But oh no, that's misinformation, right? That's a false claim, but not this. Oh, that's right, we know why, because it's contrary to their narrative. Because whatever Mint Press News says is, oh, they, they're, yeah, oh no, they're not a reliable resource. But we are, the, the legacy media, the establishment media, oh, just leave it to us. Leave it to us to be, leave it to us to be the, to be the spreaders of the truth and whatnot. It, to, to be like what? The spreaders of, of truth that is a falsehood? To, to, to sit there and say that, oh, no, 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 we are, we're the truth tellers, right? Oh, no, us. We're the truth tellers. Yeah, okay. If you guys are truth tellers, then I'm straight and I've got, and I've got a blonde girl that I'm going to bed with tonight. Oh, yeah, that ain't true. Because I'm gay, motherfucker. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. But yeah, no, the wiki smears on Mint Press News. I've uncovered stuff that's even more ridiculous than that. So yeah, buckle up, guys, because I've got more stupidity to cover tomorrow night. And oh my God, yes. I can't even tell you guys how ridiculous this is. I mean, this is what they do, guys. This is what they're doing to Mint Press News. This is what they're doing to the Gray Zone. This is what they're doing to Geopolitical Eco um, Economy Report with Ben Norton. That's what they're doing with all these people. That's what they're doing with every single one of us, guys, because we're speaking the truth and they're trying to come for us. They're trying to come for us. Okay, I don't, I don't give a shit if you come for me because I don't give a fuck what you think. The only reason I'm even speaking about you in the first place is because you're, is because you're like affecting my view. Okay, you're like sitting in front of me. It's like, it's like if you're at a movie theater and you're sitting in front of me and you're blocking the screen and I can't see you and I'd be like, hey, hey, uh, Mr. Dumbass in front of me, can you move a couple seats so I can see? You're blocking my view. Okay, these fucking shit libs block my view on a daily basis. Okay, they block my view on a daily basis because they fucking shove the shit down my throat and everybody else's throat in the Western world. Okay, so that's the reason why I call this shit out all the time and I will continue to until I'm blue in the fucking face and I don't care. And there's not a fucking goddamn thing that any of you fuckers can do about it. If you want to sit there and spot your fucking nonsense, okay, fine, go ahead and do it. But don't expect me to not sit here and fucking tear your ass a new one or expect the Gray Zone, Mint Press News, and Jimmy Dore, and Ben Norton, and Danny Hayfong, and the Flame of Liberation, amongst others, to call your fucking dumb asses out. Okay? So, you can speak, you're free to speak your mind on your fucking nonsense. If you want to sit there, and you want to sit there, and you want to fucking live in La La Land 24 hours a day, okay, fine, go ahead and do it. But don't expect us to not respond like I'm doing here right now, which is exactly what I'm going to continue to do. And I don't give a fuck if you like it or not, because because Men Press News speaks the truth and you can't stand the fact that they speak the truth. All these people that fucking smear them day in and day out. OK, just like all these fucking others, like a like, like the like New Lines magazine saying that, oh, the pro-Russian attempt to link the Buffalo shooting to Ukraine. By the way, that was done by a Ukrainian, by the way. I don't give a fuck. Oh, that's a conspiracy. Well, OK, spoiler alert. I'll, I'll, I'll touch base more on that on tomorrow night's stream because they, they actually tried to tie Mint Press News into the Buffalo shooting. I mean, 
I, I mean, guys, it doesn't get any worse than that. It's so fucking ridiculous at this point. It's so ridiculous. That, I mean, that's what they say. They'll, they'll, they'll try to tie them into everything. They'll try to tie them into everything. Everything that goes on in the world. Oh, they, they try to sit there and act like, oh, it's these Russian spreaders of disinformation. These spreaders of disinformation and everything else. Oh, my God. These people are the ones that are threatening everybody else. Well, it's funny. You're the ones that are threatening us. You're the ones that are threatening us, you fucking lying pieces of shit. The only ones that are threatening anybody else is you. Okay? Because... Because if you weren't so threatened by us, because what we say is contrary to our narrative, we refer to the anti-imperialist crowd. You wouldn't be doing this. You wouldn't be fucking doing this 24 hours a day. So get a fucking life. So instead of reporting on the real issue that's going on in Mali, Mali's facing violence because of decades and decades of French colonialism and U.S. imperialism and Zionism to a lesser extent, probably to a greater extent, all right, so why don't you talk about that instead of blaming Russia for every goddamn thing that's going on in the world? Just like the fucking morons that want to tie the gray zone and mint press news to the Buffalo shooting and tie other equivalent news sources to the to the shooting. I mean, this is what they get. This is what they're gonna do. It's like, yeah, okay, you guys are victims, right? You guys are totally fucking victims. Oh yeah, you're totally victims. You fucking worthless pieces of garbage. No, it's it's like I know some people don't want to really speak about this, but I don't give a shit. I'll speak about it. I'll fucking face them. I'll fucking face them. And I don't give two shits. I'll face them. I'll fucking face them right here, right now and say, and say, hey, motherfucker, why don't you fuck off and get a life and find something else to do with your time? Why don't you find something else to do and report on something halfway true and halfway decent for once in your fucking life? Why don't you leave me the fuck alone? Leave me the fuck alone. Leave Mint Press News alone. Leave the Gray Zone alone. And leave everybody else alone for that matter. Because you don't have anything else. You have nothing better to do with your life. Nothing better to do with your life than to worry about what everybody else has to fucking say. Worrying about what Mint Press News in the gray zone and worrying about what Eva Bartlett and Vanessa Bealey are talking about. Okay? You're worrying about all the shit that's none of your fucking business. You'd rather sit there and focus on Russia being involved in Mali, which you're probably not even involved in in the first place. Well, I'll tell you right now, Russia is involved in less countries than the U.S. is. How many Russian bases are there? Oh, I don't know. Oh, let's see. How many are there? Oh, let's see. How many? Let's count the numbers. How many Russian bases are around the world? Oh, gee, I don't know. How many NATO bases were on Russian borders? Oh, I don't know. Thousands. How many U.S. Uh, the U.S. satellite state-style military bases are all around the world? Thousands. Hundreds of thousands, probably. Okay, you're worrying about all this shit that's none of your fucking business. Okay, because none of this stuff that we report about is any of your fucking goddamn business. Like I've always, like I've asked a million times before, and I'll continue to say, what does Mint Press News say that affects anybody? What do I say that affects anybody? What have I ever said on this channel that has ever affected anybody ever anywhere in the world? It hasn't. If anything... It, it, it has woken people up. I've been woken up. I've been woken up by these alternative news outlets. I've been woken up and I've spoken out. And my fans have also done the same thing because we were all manipulated by the globalists and the mainstream media garbage people. The fucking pe pieces of garbage that run our fucking media and run our government. Okay, I saw this shit coming from a fucking... I can't even tell you how many miles I've seen this shit coming. I saw this coming from... So long, it's not even funny. Like I said, I called the Syrian chemical attacks a fucking staged false flag attack and a hoax when I was 17 years old. When that when that fucking fake attack happened in Syria, that was done by the white helmet terrorist pieces of shit, CIA backed, yeah, CIA U.S. Zionist backed uh, rebel forces that are really Al Qaeda and Zionist affiliates. I called that a fucking hoax. Even then, it happened a month after my 17th birthday, and even I said it was a fucking hoax. Okay, and guess what? It wasn't popular amongst my family, and it wasn't even popular in high school, but I still fucking said it. You know why? Because I didn't give a shit. I didn't give a shit then, and here I am nine years later, and I don't give a shit now. I won't give a shit. I won't. And I never will. So no, Voice of America, fuck you. And Wikipedia, fuck you. And everybody that smears the gray zone and mint press, fuck you as well. Fuck you a million times over. 
fuck every single one of these people a million fucking times over. Oh my God, Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, guys, I mean, I haven't even touched the tip of the iceberg of this shit. So yeah, this is a little teaser video and a little um, a compilation of the shit that I read from earlier. So yeah, I will link this in the description and I will be back with my stream uh, <laughs> with my stream tomorrow night. So yeah, this is a global report from Zach the Celtics guy. I mean, I got so fucking mad over this. I got so fucking mad and annoyed over this type of stuff. But like, oh my God, I didn't even have the chance to make my splash uh, sound effect at the beginning of every global report. But oh well, better late than never. Or as they say, or as they say, better late than pregnant. <laughs> So yeah, um, basically to sum this video up, uh, 25 minutes later, um, it's just another shit lib outlet uh, just smearing Russia for more shit and all this type of stuff and uh, embarking on a bunch of other shit that is nobody else's fucking business. Oh uh, yeah, and just all this other type of shit and everything else. To act like Russia is even involved in Mali or is involved in the atrocities of Mali is just not the case, okay? Russia is not doing anything wrong. It's the imperialists and the colonialists are, and that is the fact. That's the fact, and that's what's going on. This fucking blaming Russia for everything has run its course. It's gotten really old really fast, but if anything, it's just ancient. It's ancient history. When is it going to get to the point where this blaming Russia for everything, this new red scare, is going to be in the past? I don't know. It's going to take a long time. And this shit is probably going to go on further off into the future. I have no doubt about that. But I will continue to speak out about it no matter what because I don't give a fuck. I'll expose this shit till I'm blue in the face. And yeah, I'll probably do it in a more calm manner, especially when Steve is around and so forth. But... You know, doing it for his sake, especially after work and so forth. But that's besides the point. So, yes. With that. So, with that, yes. This is the shit that's going on in the world today. Where Russia's blamed for every fucking thing. Over meaningless bullshit. About meaningless things. And that's really all it is. Oh, I guess I'm not the only crazy person <laughs> up at fucking 1.24 in the morning. Subscribe to Zach the Celtics guy. But, yeah. Huh. That was funny. Like I said, like I said, I'm not the only crazy person that's up at this time of night. But anyway... I'm going to upload this video and I still got to take a shower and I got to head to bed and get, uh, get, and get at least a little bit of sleep, but whatever, and eh, whatever, get a few hours of sleep, get a few hours of sleep, what the fuck ever, all right, I'll sleep plenty, I'll sleep plenty, I'll sleep plenty tomorrow morning and, and whatever the fuck else, so, anyway, thank you for listening, thank you for listening to this crazy rant. Uh, hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all tomorrow with my stream. Look out for it. Uh, the specific time depends on when, what time Steven gets out of work. So I will, I'll be uploading this video and I will let you guys know in my blog. Look out for it. Stay tuned for more, more stuff on the way. This is Zach, the Celtics guy saying, thank you for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow with my stream and more videos and other stuff in the works. Stay tuned for more and more stuff on the way. And I'll see you all in the next video and in the next stream, the next stream being tomorrow and more videos coming your way soon. And I'll see you all again next time. Bye for now. Take care. Peace out. Have yourselves a great night. And I'll see you all again next time. To all my fans, subscri uh, subscribers, and comrades, thank you for listening. You, you have my support. To Voice of America and other imperialist pieces of shit, fuck you. Go fuck yourself. To everyone else, I'll see you all next time. Peace out.